Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. Sunday's come around, so it's car boot day again. I went to quite a few car boots this morning. I managed to get quite a few items to go through and have a look at. Hopefully it'll be some profit to be made here. But we'll start off, we'll start off, we'll just jump straight into it. So we'll start off with this little coping saw. I bought this mainly because it's a bit better than the coping saw I've got at the minute. I just need a new one. I only paid a pound for this. We've got Stanley Fat Max here, which is a nice brand. This probably cost me over £10 new. It's in pretty much new condition anyway. So I only paid a pound for this. So happy days there. Good little buy and it'll come in handy. Up next, we'll jump into some golf stuff. Bought this little pack of Callaway balls here. Brand new in the pack, paid £1.50 for this, so quite a good little buy there. Be able to make some money on that. I'll probably chuck it in with some golf clubs at some point to sweeten the deal, should we say. Or if any of my dad's friends want them or anyone else I know wants them, they can have them pretty much for a £1.50. It's a nice little gift. Then we've got two golf clubs here. Not really the best of brands here either. Oops, what we've got here. So that claim there, that's a sand wedge, ideal for sand bunkers because then it glides along the bottom of the bunker. Quite a nice little club. I pay £2 each for these, so not too bad on price. And then just this wedge here, I think it's a 64 degree, yeah, 64 degree wedge there. But yeah, for £2 each, I mainly got these because wedges sell quite easily. Wedges, drivers and putters sell easily. If When you've got the different irons all mismatched, that's when they're a bit of a nightmare to sell. But yeah, I haven't bought any golf clubs in a while. I haven't seen any good ones in a while, to be honest. And these are okay, but they're no, they're not really good brands. But still, I bought these to see if my dad wants them. And if he doesn't, I'll just chuck them online. I'll probably double my money anyway. But yeah, hopefully he'll have them or some, one of his friends will have them. But yeah. Two golf clubs there. Next, a video game. I bought video game in God knows how long. We got Metroid Other M. Paid one pound for this. I think this is a five pound game thereabouts. I'll check it online and see what I can get. It's all in there, complete. Got the manual as well, which is always nice. And a little certificate. This little thing as well. Yeah, they're usually missing because people like to collect them. But yeah, all in good condition. So should be able to make some money on that one. And last but not least, I bought quite a few watches. <laughs> bought too many watches, rarely, but hey ho, I've got to start selling them. So I just move the camera over because it's going to be easier than moving all these over. So yeah, a lot of watches. So I bought roughly what did I spend? I think the most expensive one I bought was this one here, and I overpaid rarely. I think this is a Claude Valentine watch and it's not in the best condition. It's in good condition, but we've got some little, some of the, what's it, plated metal on here starting to wear through. It's starting to go a bit yellow. I think I could probably get £20 for this and then I pay £20 for it. So not the best there. But apart from that, we did quite well. We'll start off this German watch here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce, well, I'll try and pronounce it, but I'll butcher it krug bain booman we'll call it but yeah a little watch there i need to get a new battery for this i've just opened up the back to see if i get got this right battery i don't have the right battery in at the minute but yeah this watch here in the case it's got the manual underneath i think i get a between 20 30 pound for this watch which is ideal rarely I paid three pound for it so good buy on that one this one here it's quite a nice watch it's very so, little ladies watch, I'd say 1960s, uh, I've got it the right way up, no, rotary, it's a wind-up watch. It does wind up and work a little bit, but it's one of them, I'll probably have to put in the description, it needs a service or something like that when they come to sell it. I paid £10 for this one, this one, the other most expensive ones I bought in a lot, but this one here I can see getting £20 upwards, it just needs a bit of a clean and I need to have a little fiddle with it, but yeah. Nice little watch there. I actually got some of these in a junk shop after a car boot, rarely, but I got this one in a junk shop and then I got, I think, three or four of the other ones in a junk shop. But yeah, £10 for that one. This one here, I think, is the best buy of the day. This is Smith & Wesson. 
I always thought it was Smith and Weston, but yeah, it's the same as the gun brand. You make the revolvers and what have you. So quite a good brand really. And the watch is actually quite a nice watch. Got it here. It's in quite nice condition. Not many scratches on the face really for what it is. And I've just put a new battery in it and it is actually working pretty well. So I'll leave it for a day or two to make sure it can keep time and then see what I can get for it online. I really quite like this watch. So I'm going to price it around £50, and if I don't get over £50 or over, I'm probably going to keep it, because it's quite a nice little watch, really. It's a good brand as well. It's got the case, it's got the little manual there as well, which would be a good selling point, hopefully. But yeah, their watches vary in price. It's hard to gauge. I can't find the exact model online either, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, and then we've just got a mismatch of other watches here, really. We've got quite a few secondas. We've got one, two, three, four, four secondas there, five secondas even. These two here, this one seems to be working as well. Yeah. This one here seems to be working, which is ideal. These two here are wind up ones, which aren't working. So these will go for parts. This one here is quite interesting because it's got like an alarm in it and it vibrates. Let's see if I can, oh, not that one. Let's see if I can get it to, Go off. Probably won't be able to get it to go off now. Probably, no, nah, I think I've... Probably needs to be wound for it to go off. Oh, there you go. Did you hear it? Yeah, it went off a little bit then. <laughs> Yeah, so that one, these both basically are going to be sold in a job lot for spares and repairs. I paid, was it £1.50 each for these? So that's not too bad. Uh, little 50p one here, probably needs a new battery. I need to have a look at that. That probably sell for a couple of quid online. Uh, these two here, these are both uh, forgery watches. So we've got a fake Omega watch here and we've got a fake Cartier watch here. I'm presuming they're both fake, mainly because this is quite light, and I've had a look at the mechanism in the back, and it seems quite cheap to be an Omega. Same for this one here. I think the back's off on this one. I don't think Cartier would have a watch like that, really, even though so the back plate's quite well detailed. I still think it's a fake, but I'll put them online and see what I can get from them. I'll put them down that they're forgeries. If anyone wants them for parts, they can. This one's in not very good condition. This one isn't too bad condition, but the face needs to be moved. But yeah, yeah, let's get those spares and repairs, see what happens with them. That was a combined price of four pounds there for those two, so not the end of the world. But yeah, and was it this one here? Not too bad little watch, paid three pounds. I think I'll get between 10 and 20 for it. It's keeping time as well, which is ideal, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Just keep it for a day or two to make sure it keeps time. And then some, just some more vintage watches, another rotary there. Is it a Secchio there? And then this one, I bought because it said it was working on the back, but it's not working. <laughs> but I think that's Glim, Glimford there, which is an older brand. But yeah, anyway, I think I should be able to double my money, really. I'm not sure how much I've spent here. 10, 40. I've probably spent around roughly £60 or so here. So I can see myself easily doubling my money at some point, but it's going to be a case of having to hold out for the right buyer and stuff like that, sadly. But yeah, anyway, that's quite a lot of talking on watches. I went on a bit there. But yeah, anyway, those are today's car boot buys. A few other interesting buys as well, not to forget. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, remember to leave a like. As usual, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I've got plenty of other car boot videos on the channel. I need to start making other videos. I just haven't got the time at the minute, and the car boot videos are the easiest ones for me to make. But yeah, anyway, thanks again for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in one of my future ones. Bye for now.